page 86. Exercise A. Vocabulary. Clothing departments. Listen and repeat in the pauses. Outerwear. Underwear and lingerie. Hosiery. Bags and accessories. Sleepwear. Athletic wear. Page 87. Exercise C. Photo story. Read and listen to a conversation between a clerk and a customer about a sweater the customer wants to buy. Excuse me, how much is that v-neck? This red one? It's $55. That's not too bad. And it's really nice. Could I get it in a larger size? Here you go. This one's a medium. Would you like to try it on? No, thanks. I'll just take it. It's a present for my sister. Would you be nice enough to gift wrap it for me? Of course. Page 88. Vocabulary. Types of clothing and shoes. Read and listen. Casual clothes. Jeans. A t-shirt. A sweatshirt. A polo shirt. Sweatpants. Sweaters and jackets. A crew neck. A cardigan. A turtleneck. A v-neck, a windbreaker, a blazer. Shoes. Oxfords, loafers, sandals, running shoes, pumps, flats. Now listen again and repeat in the pauses. Jeans. A t-shirt. A sweatshirt, a polo shirt, sweatpants, a crew neck, a cardigan, a turtleneck, a v-neck, a windbreaker, a blazer, Oxfords, Loafers, sandals, running shoes, pumps, flats. Page 89. Conversation Model. Exercise A. Read and listen to a conversation in which someone is paying for clothes. I'll take these polo shirts, please. Certainly. How would you like to pay for them? Excuse me? Cash or charge? Charge, please. And could you gift wrap them for me? Absolutely. Page 89. Exercise B. Rhythm and Intonation. Listen again and repeat in the pauses. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. I'll take these polo shirts, please. Certainly. How would you like to pay for them? Excuse me? Cash or charge? Charge, please. And could you gift wrap them for me?
Absolutely. Page 90. Vocabulary. Clothing that comes in pairs. Exercise A. Read and listen. A pair of gloves. A pair of pantyhose. A pair of tights. A pair of panties. A pair of pajamas. A pair of pants. A pair of shorts. A pair of boxers. A pair of briefs. A pair of socks. Now listen again and repeat in the pauses. A pair of gloves. A pair of pantyhose. A pair of tights. A pair of panties. A pair of pajamas. A pair of pants. A pair of shorts. A pair of boxers. A pair of briefs. A pair of socks. Page 90. Exercise B. Listening Comprehension. Listen to the conversations. Infer the department each shopper should go to. Conversation 1. Do you see a store directory? Yes, it's right over here. What do you need? I need a pair of nice warm gloves for my sister. Conversation 2. These pajamas aren't comfortable. They're too small. Would you like me to get you a couple of new pairs when I go shopping? That'd be great. Thanks. Conversation 3. Look at these great tights. They have pictures of animals on them. Don't you just love them? Not particularly. They're a little wild for my taste. Well, if you really don't like them, I'll take them back to the store. Conversation 4. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'm looking for boxers. I only see briefs. They're right over here. Just follow me. Thanks. I need a pair in extra large. Page 91. Conversation model. Exercise A. Read and listen to someone asking for a different size. Excuse me, do you have these gloves in a smaller size? I need a medium. Yes, we do. Here you go. Thanks. Would you like to take them? Yes, please. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Page 91. Exercise B. Rhythm and Intonation. Listen again and repeat in the pauses. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. Excuse me, do you have these gloves in a smaller size? I need a medium. Yes, we do. Here you go. Thanks. Would you like to take them? Yes, please. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Page 92. Before you listen. Vocabulary. Interior locations and directions. Read and listen. Top floor. Top level. Third floor.
Third level. Second floor. Second level. Ground floor. Ground level. Basement. In the front. On the left. In the back. Down the hall. On the right. Take the escalator. Go up the escalator. Go down the escalator. Take the stairs. Go up the stairs. Go down the stairs. Take the elevator. Now listen again and repeat in the pauses. Top floor. Top level. Third floor. Third level. Second floor. Second level. Ground floor. Ground level. Basement. In the front. On the left. In the back. Down the hall. On the right. Take the escalator. Go up the escalator. Go down the escalator. Take the stairs. Go up the stairs. Go down the stairs. Take the elevator. Page 92. Prepositions of interior location. Listen and repeat in the pauses. On the first level. On the ground floor. On the top floor. In the basement. In lingerie. Page 92. Listening Comprehension. Exercise A. Understand locations and directions. Listen to directions in a department store. Write the number of each location in the white boxes on the floor diagrams. Location 1. Where are the coats? Right here on the ground floor. The coat department is in the back of the store, right in front of the elevators. Back of the store? Thanks. Oh, and the restrooms? In the basement, near the elevators. Thanks. No problem. Location 2. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I'm looking for the shoe department. Men's or women's? Children's, actually. The children's department is upstairs. Take the escalator to the second floor and walk to the back of the store. It's right there. You'll see it. Location 3. Excuse me, where's the restaurant? There are two restaurants, sir. There's a coffee shop and a self-service buffet. The coffee shop? That's downstairs in the basement. How do I get there? Just take the escalator and turn right when you get off. Location 4. Excuse me, ma'am. Where's the lingerie department? I'd like to buy something special for my wife. The lingerie department is on the top floor in the front of the store. Just go up the stairs and turn right. Location 5. I'm looking for purses. Purses? They're in accessories. Where's that, please? Go straight down the hall. It's just after you pass the escalators. Thanks. Page 94. Before you read. Vocabulary. Formality and appropriateness. Read and listen to each pair of antonyms. Formality. Formal. Informal. 
Appropriateness. Appropriate. Inappropriate. Strictness. Liberal. Conservative. Now listen again and repeat in the pauses. Formal. Informal. Appropriate. Inappropriate. Liberal. Conservative. Page 94. Reading. Read and listen. The Savvy Voyager. Hello, traveling to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania next week, and I need some info on clothing do's and don'ts. I'm in Holland right now, where the dress code is pretty liberal, more liberal than where I come from in Germany. Their attitude is anything goes, and they wear some pretty wild things here. How strict are the rules there? Hi, traveling girl. I go there quite a bit, and my general rule of thumb for East Africa is to keep your shoulders covered and to wear below-the-knee pants or skirts, no sleeveless shirts or tank tops. The culture is pretty conservative, and women dress modestly, don't show too much skin. Okay, Jillian25, but it's incredibly hot and humid there, just about all year round. Traveling girl should pack for the heat. Cotton blouses in light colors, casual, comfortable, light pants, sandals. She didn't say, is this a business trip or pleasure? A mix of both, a little business in Dar with my husband, then a quick safari to see the animals. Then I plan on spending at least one weekend at the beach. What's the story there? There really are no hard and fast rules, but in tourist areas like beaches, it's more informal and relaxed, and most modest clothing is okay. A bathing suit's fine at the beach, as long as it's not too revealing. But in general, in towns near the coast, the rules are stricter, and it's inappropriate to wear shorts or mini skirts. so carry a piece of cotton cloth that you can fix easily about your waist. And let's not forget your husband. For business and formal meetings, a lightweight suit is always appropriate for both of you, and a tie for him. Page 96. Review. Exercise A. Listening Comprehension. Listen to the conversations. Use the context to infer which department the people are in. Listen more than once if necessary. Conversation 1. Can you help me? Certainly, ma'am. Do you have these pumps in a smaller size? They're a little large. Conversation 2. Excuse me, I'm looking for a windbreaker. Certainly. Is a light windbreaker okay? Yes, thanks. We're going to Tanzania. They say it's incredibly hot there this time of year, but very windy. Conversation 3. Excuse me, where are the less expensive purses? Just over there, across from the belts. Conversation 4 Do you think you could gift wrap these tights for me? They're a present for my daughter. I'm sorry, but I can't. We don't gift wrap in this department. But if you go to the service desk, they can help you with that. Conversation 5 I just love this nightgown, but my husband says pink isn't a good color for me. Do you have it in black? I think we do. What size, madam? Extra large, please. 